Hey YouTubers, today we've got a Citroen C4, it's a 1.6 HDI, circa around about 06. Um, came to me with intermittent engine warning light, loss of power. It had been to Citroen dealers in Granada, um, they put a filter on it, which it didn't need because it had one in its last service. Um, fault still there. I've scanned it and we got PO. We've got P0087 and P0093, uh, both to do with low, low pressure. First of all, we have a look at some live data uh, and see what the fuel pressure signal is doing. Then we're going to try and activate the solenoid on the regulator valve. And after that, we'll do a leak off test on the injectors. Well, well I've um, deleted the travel codes because I didn't want it to interfere with whatever it's going to do on the fuel system. Um, so we can have a look at live data and fuel circuit info. And what I'm interested in is the reference pressure, the measured pressure. The flow regulator, and that's really it. So let's have a look. Let's get this where you can see it. So, reference pressure, right? Can we do a graph merge? So, blue is the fuel measured, and green is the reference. Now, they're what we're interested in right now. And to be honest, that's not bad at all. There's going to be a little discrepancy because of the speed of the readings and the speed of the adjustment of the fuel pressure. So, and we have activity on the fuel regulator. Well, I'm happy with that for now. So in the next test, what we're going to do is command the fuel flow regulator on and off. Now we come back out of this one. No, we don't. Fuel circuit info. Then we want to not go in that one, do we? We want to come back out of those. And look for active tests. Yes. HP component tests, what do we have? Fuel flow regulator. Now hopefully you pick that up. Now I'm gonna run it again and actually fill the regulator. Well, I can feel it um, pulsing. So what that tells us is the wiring integrity is good to the regulator. So my next test is going to be take off the leak off pipe, um, close it up this end, and then we're gonna do uh, an injector flow test and see what results we get from that. Now the engine is warm. Okay, and just for info, um, fuel high pressure regulation, pressure less than required, 
and pump regulation valve opens below settings. So we know the valve's working, but is it working correctly? But because it's more of a low fuel pressure, and I didn't notice that at present, I'm going to do, um, it's so quick and easy, do a leak off test on the injectors. Here's my setup, really straightforward, you've probably seen this before. So they're the receptacles. We have a leak off pipe taken off, clamped there, and then we have each pipe to the top of each injector so that we can start measuring the flow up into those bottles. Let's get it started. Right, I've started it and I've set a time on my phone for two minutes. Now what we should be expecting is no more than 15 millilitres per minute. Uh, I've written down some bits and pieces. So a two minute idle, no more than 30 mil. <coughs> now we check for the um, air bubbles. If we're getting air bubbles, it generally signifies the pin tool the injector is wearing and the uh, compression gas get, gases are getting past it. This one here seems a little higher right now. Um, let's see. I'd say they're all a little bit high. Now this has been left with me for a few days. When I came to it this morning, it definitely had a miss. So that's why I'm thinking maybe an injector's leaking by overnight. Right, that's for two minutes. Let's go turn it off. Now we can measure these. I don't go by the, um, the measurements on the bottles. I do it by weight and then go that way. Now when you take these out, it's important that you clamp the pipe about here so that you can let the excess run into the bottle. I see, but let's get the set up and I'll show you. I'm just going to hold on to the tube and I'll pull it off the uh, injector. Then we can get it running back into the bottle. Do that for all four. That way you get more accurate measurement. Nice and toasty under here. Ooh. And while I'm here, I might as well put the uh, leak off pipe back on. So on these ones, just gotta disconnect the injectors. Make sure the ignition's off when you do this, because otherwise you'll set full codes all over the place. Oh, 
my flutes is. Hopefully they're just sort into place. Sometimes a very gentle tap is required just to get them to seat. Seated. Plug it in. Check some multi plugs. And then the clips. Be very careful not to drop these, which I'll probably do now. I've just told you but to be very careful. One. Right, let's go over the bench and uh, see how many millilitres we got. Right, I had to pinch these off the wife. Um, hope she should, <laughs> she'll be okay about it. My little scales are dead. But what I want to do is measure that's an empty bottle. So we set the tar weight. So now we know that whatever's being measured in millilitres, millilitres will be what we've got. And try and remember to keep them in order. So we go bottle number one, which is the timing end, which is actually number cylinder four on these French cars. So this is cylinder number four. And we've got 23.5. So we'll do cylinder number three next, which is bottle two. And that is 19. Cylinder number two, it's 26. Now that's what, these mean nothing, these measurements and this scale, but that is why I've weighed them 26. And 21. This test is by no means conclusive. If one was very bad, it would show it. I mean, I do question cylinder number two. Uh, I have reservations about that. Although, yes, it is in spec, but it's a high end of spec. Uh, cylinder number one and three, pretty good. Cylinder number two not overly happy with and cylinder four it's kind of mid-range or top of mid-range i mean my personal view would be to uh, get these injectors tested on a bench i've enjoyed that video it is inconclusive my recommendation will be to get the injectors tested um the pressure sense didn't drop out fuel regulator didn't drop out uh, and we know that one injector is nearing the top end of the spec another injector is high end um, and the other two are okay but because it's a low pressure fault this isn't a conclusive test for that and just based on what I've seen my recommendation is injectors out uh, we have a specialist local, get them tested. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, and please leave any questions or comments in the box below.
Thanks for watching.